Hi, in this video so I'm going to show you how you can change the battery in your Porsche Panamera key fob. The same thing will apply to other models as well. This particular key fob is from a Porsche Panamera from 2015. Now if when you put your key into the ignition it comes up with replace ignition key battery then you will need to replace it. So in this particular one here the battery it takes is a 2032. It can be known as different things DL2032, CR2032, BR, etc. And obviously you have loads of different brands as well. Basically the 2032 means that it is 20 millimeters in diameter and it is 3.2 millimeters in depth. So if you had a 2025, again it would be 20 millimeters across here, but it would only be 2.5 millimeters in depth. So in this particular key fob here it takes a 2032. Now what I'm not sure about because people have said in the past is that if you leave it too long you will then have to send your key to Porsche to get them to reprogram it. So I've done this and it works fine without sending it off to Porsche but I've done it very quickly just in case there's capacitors in here and they might take so many seconds before they discharge. The good news is is that you don't need any tools to do this whatsoever. So let me do it and I'm going to do it really, really quickly. If you're unsure what battery your one takes, because you might have a different model, you can always just quickly take it out, have a look and shut the lid again. And then you can order yourself up the battery that you need. So in order to do this here, we have a little tab here that we just need to slide to take out the emergency key. So I'm just doing that there. That looks easier than it can be. What you have to do is you kind of have to use your nail. You have to slide it to that side there and at the same time you have to push it out. Now obviously if it hasn't been done in a while it might be caked in a bit of grime. So to that side and then slide out like so. Now if you have a look here there is a screw. Don't undo that screw. It's got nothing to do with that screw there at all. All we have to do is take off this section here. You can see this is in the shape of a battery and this bit here is a not attached to the rest of the key. So what we're going to do is using this part here, we're going to put it in here and then we're going to lever it up away like that. And when we do that, when we lever it away, this will pop up. So levering it now and you can see my battery is there. I'm going to take my battery out and nice and quickly, I'm going to put another one in here. That way up, positive side facing you. Push that in there like so and clip it back down into place. And that is it. And that is how you change the battery. And if you have a look now, if you look at the light here, you can see that it's lighting up. Right, so one more time. This is actually the old battery. This is the new battery that I've put in. So take that out like so, put it in here, lever it up, take the battery out, put it in negative side down, positive side up. You can clean in here if you need it and then put it in there like so. If you are cleaning in there, make sure you do it very quickly. As I say, I don't know if you do or do not need to send it to Porsche if it's been unplugged for five or 10 minutes, but uh, if you know the answer to that, you can always put it down below. Now, let me just quickly show you this unlocking the car. So there you go, you can see how easy that is. And when it was serviced by Porsche last time, it was fitted with a Panasonic battery. So you can see they don't make their own batteries. So really there is no need, unless you're putting in for a service already to get them to change the battery and take time out of your day when you can do it yourself in under one minute. Thanks for watching.